After their weekend games, the KDP was celebrating today. News agencies are now reporting the fall of Suleimania, the last stronghold of their rivals, the PUK. The reports are unconfirmed. If they're true, today's fighting will mark a major advance for the KDP, backed by Saddam Hussein. From their base at Erbil, the KDP yesterday took the town of Khoisanjak. Today, they took the Dukan Dam, which provides Erbil with electricity. If they have taken Suleimania, the U.S. may reluctantly have to get involved again. U.S. fighter aircraft remain on standby, but with the Western alliance against Iraq so shaky, the Americans have so far resisted further action. They've been calling this fighting civil war. I would still like to, to do more to help the Kurds, but frankly, if you want the, the fighting to, for the fighting to be ended, the leaders of the various factions are going to have to be willing to go back to the peace ta table and talk it through. The KDP is pushing its advantage, but the U.S. says that the Iraqi army is not at the moment fighting alongside its new allies. Because they're trying to contain their involvement, the Americans may deliberately be underplaying Saddam Hussein's role. Given the extent of KDP successes at the moment, it seems unlikely that the Iraqis would have no involvement. You don't necessarily have to have tanks and artillery. It could be that the Iraqis are wearing Kurdish uniforms um, and still providing planning, intelligence, um, special force capabilities that would enable them to be more successful than the KDP would normally be. As fighting continues, several thousand people have fled the city of Suleimania towards the Iranian border. The PUK have asked the Americans to intervene. If they refuse, the PUK may call on Iran, a move which would destabilize the region further and leave the U.S. severely compromised.